In today's video we will check out which memory card is the best one, so fastest one and also best price performance card for your Olympus EP7. Don't be confused or mix it up with the EPL7 which is about, I don't know, six, seven years old as of now. And this video also applies to the EM10 Mark IV because both cameras use the same memory card controller. Finding a memory card for your EP7 or EM10 Mark IV isn't too complicated because the camera just have one memory card slot. So I will pick the fastest card we have tested so far. It's the Sony TUF G series, but it's not the fastest one by far. So many other UHS2 cards are very close to it. And what is great about the EP7 for, let's say, an upper entry level camera. The memory card controller and image processor is absolutely great, amazingly fast. So if you really push it to the limit, it's about 190 megabytes per second. So really fast, one of the fastest controllers we can see. And let's check out the speed with the Tough G series. So now we are in continuous shooting mode and actually shooting everything in raw quality and now you can hear after the buffer is full it's still quite fast amazingly fast for such a yeah, low entry level camera so and everything is already saved so enormously quick and as mentioned you don't have to buy the tough g series from sony um, other recommend, uh, recommended cards are the pro grade v90 series lexa 2000x and also uh, the kingston canvas react plus so all of those cards are uhs2 memory cards as you can see here with the second row of contacts on the back side uh, of course, all those cards are quite expensive, so what if you don't want to spend too much money? Before I continue, obviously we checked way more cards than I will show you here in this video I already showed you, because it's, yeah, about, I guess, 80 memory cards, so a lot, quite a lot. If you want to check out all the results, no problem, go to memorycard.guru, you will find the link in the video description below. There's a table with all memory cards tested for the EP7 or EM10 Mark IV. And if you like this video so far, leave a thumbs up. And if you're really interested in memory cards, may subscribe to the channel as well. So let's continue. There's a good alternative, not too slow in my experience. And both of these cards are also UHS2 memory cards. So still two con contact rows on the back. But there are yep, some of the cheapest UHS2 cards. One, the Alexa 1667X and the Sony E-Series. And why should you choose those cards if you're on a budget? Both cards are UHS2, so you can still use most of the advantages from the memory card controller. And as you can still hear, we are in the image buffer. So, but now we are outside. But the speed is quite okay, so about three, three and a half images per second. And as mentioned, everything's still shooting in raw image quality. So buying a not too expensive UHS2 memory card may be a good alternative. But as I know, okay, these cards are still more expensive than let's say a good UHS1 card or let's say a cheap UHS1 card. Um, I have my, yeah, king of recommendations, the Kingston Canvas Select Plus card and one of the cheapest UHS-1 cards, so usually around 20 bucks for 128 gig. And do the same experiment as well. We are in the image buffer, but now the image buffer lasts much shorter because the card limits earlier. And you can hear we are about one frame per second after the image buffer is full. So not too bad because even the UHS-1 controller is quite okay, but far, far away from the UHS-2 results. So to sum it up, my recommendation, if you want the 
absolute fastest speed you can get with the EP7, which is amazingly fast again for in, yeah, such a cheap camera. Buy a fast UHS-2 card. If you are more on a budget but not have to look for every cent, uh, buy a cheaper UHS-2 card. It's still a huge improvement over the fastest UHS-1 card. And if you're on a real hard budget, uh, yeah, just buy a faster UHS-1 card. It's okay, but not too good. Uh, but absolutely fine for, let's say, shooting 4K video. There's just a, a new 3 or V30 video class recommended. That's it. If there are any questions left, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. That's it for today and enjoy your time with the Olympus EP7 or EM10 Mark IV. See you.